Hello there, young learners. Welcome back to Reading Redness Centers. Today, we are embarking on a fascinating journey to explore the world of weight measurement. Get ready to have a blast as we delve into the metric system and the US customary system for measuring weight. All right, let's begin by understanding what weight is all about. Imagine weight as the measure of how heavy or light something is. Just like you have different sized toys, you also encounter different weights in everyday objects. Think of weight like a seesaw. When the seesaw is balanced, it means both sides have the same weight. But if one side is heavier, just like when you have a heavy thing on one side and a light thing on the other, the seesaw tilts. Now, let's talk about measuring weight. Just as we use a ruler to measure length, we employ something called a scale to measure weight. Here comes the exciting part. In different parts of the world, we use different systems to measure weight. Today, we'll learn about two systems, the metric system and the US customary system. First up is the metric system. This is used by many countries, and it's quite straightforward. In the metric system, we measure weight using grams and kilograms. For lighter objects, like a pencil or a cookie, we use grams. And for heavier things, like a backpack or a watermelon, we use kilograms. Let's make things even simpler. There are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So, if you have 1,000 grams of grapes, you have one kilogram of grapes. Now, let's hop over to the US customary system. In the United States, they have their own way of measuring weight. They use ounces and pounds. For lighter items, like a feather or a paperclip, they use ounces. And for heavier stuff, like a backpack or a watermelon, they use pounds. Here's a cool trick. There are 16 ounces in one pound. So, if you have 16 ounces of candy, you've got yourself one pound of candy. Now, imagine a bag of sugar that weighs five pounds. That's like lugging around five big watermelons. So, remember, measuring weight helps us understand how heavy or light things are. And whether you are using the metric system with grams and kilograms, or the US customary system with ounces and pounds, it's all about making sense of the world around us. I hope you had an amazing time learning about weight today. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video with your pals, and hit that subscribe button for more exciting learning adventures. Thanks for joining us at Reading Redness Centers. Until next time, young explorers.